Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Want. For those latecomer anti-lockdown leaders who pushed the interventions at the start of COVID, and often for months, or in some cases even years, we would love to hear something like this from you. I fell into exactly the sort of groupthink that I had always thought I was immune to. I never considered a serious cost-benefit analysis because I bought into the narrative that COVID was effectively infinite in cost, so nothing else mattered relative to that. I immediately compromised on my classical liberal stance that civil liberties are inviolable, treating them instead as just another of the many utilities to be balanced, which is a category error and a gross misunderstanding of what civil liberties are. I am sorry. I am, however, the wiser through having failed what amounts to a, a litmus test. The moral for me is that if I fell into such an authoritarian mindset despite consciously trying hard to be a scientifically minded classical liberal, then society at large really is deeply and dangerously susceptible to these moral contagions and mass hysterias. We must be ever on guard against them. We must work to ensure that the failure that is the great COVID debacle is understood. We need to hold culpable the public policy experts, politicians, intellectuals, WHO, and the rest that implemented these evil policies. Civil liberties must be enshrined as sacred and not fragile to emergency decrees. And we cannot forget that I myself am also among the culpable. I, along with billions of others, whipped up bad information about the dangers, pushed hard for the interventions, justified violating civil liberties, and berated those not holding my views. But I am more culpable than most of the billions. One's culpability is greater, the greater one's voice and reach, the longer and more confidently one pushed for it, and the more one had a formal responsibility for leadership. And another moral is that the fact that I had good intentions doesn't matter. What matters is holding to principles that are good. As it turns out, I did not. That is what the great COVID debacle taught us. And through what I have learned about my own weaknesses, I believe I can lead us in ensuring we don't see anything of this kind again. Now, someone who says that is someone many of us in the freedom community would at least excuse and maybe actually accept in a leadership capacity. But I can count on one finger the number of people that might fit this. And that was your science moment.